right then. Good evening, again. So, I wanted to do, wait, what is this? I don't know, it's a lot faster. I wanted to do these two for the bonus there. And I see that all the perks are reset. If you pick those, right, I'm gonna take the Royal Mint because I don't think the mills outside will survive. So, now we're gonna play a lot today, just a little bit. But while the wills will not survive, the houses may. I have the spear, okay. I didn't actually check what weapon I took. But yeah, the spear is fine. What I want to do is try the assassin training thing, which lowers the cooldown if you use the ability basically immediately again. So, grab that. Grab two houses. Uh, need to keep in mind, I cannot... I cannot attack air. Which, there are a few air units in this one. A few air waves. So I'll have to keep that in mind. Positive, I don't have the snake, so enemies should give me a bit more money than usual. And yeah, the first the first few are not really difficult at all. Take this house, take that house, and then I think I'll just save because I don't want any of the mills. And I'm just gonna because those things up there basically will one shot me. I'm pretty sure. So I'm just gonna hide around the soldiers for a bit. Alright, the spear slows. I forgot that. And... Okay, the spear is still not angry. Maybe I should play. I wonder if I can unlock even more perks to use. I'm gonna play this one for now and unlock a bit me here, a bit more with that. So, without the spear and with the snake, so I'm just gonna do that and take the snake. Don't need the royal mint because there are good farms about. And then I just take better walls, I guess. So. Uh, build the castle. I'm gonna start as last time, but build the castle, build the tower, build the gold mines. Okay. And then we can begin. Alright, no spear this time. Also, stab. The assassin training is probably for the bow not the best thing, but for the spear I can imagine it really good because it just cares about whether you hit the button at the right time and that's basically just a permanent heal then, I guess. Okay. First wave, not at dangerous. Now, immediate wall, immediate tower, immediate tower. I have four remaining which are gonna go in a farm up here.
Uh, yeah, just more money. Then. These towers should hold. The snake just means I get less income with, from enemies specifically, and that's not that. Oh, I don't have the spear, right. But these are probably still the first priority. Just barely out of range, but my sword is longer than theirs, apparently. Since I can still stab them. And yeah, no, no issue there. So I'm just gonna grab that coin. And next, I think archers on top. Yeah. So, tower. Tower number two. And build me the mills. Two remaining, which can be a house, I guess. And then I can already start. Alright, oh, I forgot. They spawn later here. But yeah, these towers, they have it. No issue. And this is also no deal. Also, I learned that the hot oil tower that I got last time and that I tried up there, not the requisite range to attack up uh, there. Okay, so I can build this gold mine now. And this tower. And then, what else they build? More farms. Actually, let me upgrade the center and grab the free housing upgrades. I really like that upgrade. Free stuff is always great. Unfortunately, no wall. Can I step downhill? That would be funny if I could. Maybe with a spear. A spear is... Oh no, the spear has a little bit more range than them and slows them down, so the spear is maybe actually really good against us. Better than the bow, probably. I just noticed that they just break into pieces. Are they made of rock? Alright, so. Fast enemies from down there. Which means I'm just gonna build a barricade. Uh, not the wall yet, though. And then, um, upgrade the farms. Upgrading them should give me more money than building the next one, though I will do that as well. Farm and farm, okay. So enemies just coming from that side should be easy enough. These things seem to have issues getting around corners. And yeah, the gold mine is going to die again. 
Nothing I can do about that. Uh, there's one more exploding boy coming in. And I fell down. Okay, yeah, tower is dead. Uh, I hope the towers up there can deal with that one guy. Before he kills any of my farms. Nope, some of my fields have been destroyed. Ah, uh, too bad. So, 30 archers on this side, upgrade this tower, upgrade the farm again, upgrade this tower, I think that should hold, then 12 from this side, which I'll just plonk a gate down. Also, really nice that you can play this game with basically just one hand. Not really required compared to other games, but nice nonetheless. So, the assassin bugs on the left will come to me anyway, so... I can just stand around here and help the towers. Also, enemies apparently also, at least enemy range units, apparently also attack the unit closest to them. Oh, don't attack the fields. Eh, God damn it. Right, one field died. That's acceptable. So, riders from back there, towers, um, build house, so it can be upgraded for free, upgrade the wall, no I can't, need to upgrade the house before that again, build this barricade for the spiky balls, and then just Build more economy, more housing. Perfect. I'm gonna stand on this side. I think. Like the horseman there, I don't think they'll get through the barricade. It would destroy the gold mine, but that one probably also doesn't give any money at the moment anymore. Yeah. Wall broken over here. As long as they don't come to take it out, I don't care. Or to take advantage, I don't care. Sometimes the horse just speeds up. Like, there is, if you hold shift, it sprints. But that is also to mark the enemy. So, build here. Upgrade the castle. To yeah, just bigger, bigger, better king. Then I can build the barricade back here. Unfortunately, I don't think I can upgrade that. And then a gate. So maybe my gold mine will survive. And then up here, also a gate. On the left side, I don't really have anything. So I don't really care about the 
that gate about upgrading there. But while I don't even ha don't really have anything over there, until they are through, I'll probably have dealt with one of the other sides or both. Okay, the wall walked perfectly. This wall is also currently still walling perfectly. Very nice. And then up here. Okay, they went through. They came through. Which is not the worst, honestly. That is, that is a force I can deal with. Especially if my pouncer supports me. Okay, are there any more houses I can build? That's a barracks. I can build the houses here. Honestly, I don't quite understand the, bar the barricade here, because most enemies will just go up to the tower, except the insect ones and, yeah, the insect ones and the steel balls. So now upgrade makes you into ballista. I don't need that yet. Upgrade here instead. Upgrade this tower. Upgrade here. I can't get a barricade in on this side. It's kind of disappointing. Field, field, three more, which I probably gonna make a wall out here. So these riders have to go through two, two, th through two barricades. They will not survive that. Uh, they would also if I bothered to build it. And then up top I have four towers, that should be sufficient. Does it just permanently slow them? No, but for, for a time. So it's not just while they are on the barricade. The barricade kinda, kinda good. I wonder what other maps they bring. Like a very mountainy one would be kind of fun. Though mountains in general tend to not have that many entranceways. Uh, okay, they broke the they broke through down here. Should be too big of an issue though, because now they are in range of more towers. Uh, so twenty five up there. I'm gonna build the uh, I'm gonna build that barricade down here. These two barricades should basically just completely obliterate anything coming from down there. Then. Ballista. Second Ballista. Uh, build a tower for a third Ballista. And then the Ballista should deal with the catapults, no issue. Barricade here, because those are what I said basically one of two troop types that just ignore that tower up there. Catapult one is down. Can I get the catapult to shoot me? No. So the catapult is probably only attacking uh, walls and towers.
Barricade doing a wonderful job. Unfortunately, they are still gonna get the Rue. And to me, unless the unless the towers deal with them. I forgot they do drive by attacks. Nearly lost a house to them. Okay, but nothing of value was lost, just a gate. Uh thirty five of that direction. Again, I have two barricades, they will not go through. 12 from that direction. And for that I'm gonna upgrade you to be a ballista. As well as you to be a ballista. And then I'm just gonna build a mill. Very far away. And I can just completely build it. I don't know what wave it is. I didn't pay attention. 12 gold remaining. So upgrade a tower. And upgrade a tower. 2 remaining. That's fine. Can't afford it. Oh yeah, Ballista just one-shotting them. Yeah, the barricades. Are kind of fucking them up. And then on this side, they are smashing in the gate. And the ballistas are also smashing them. Don't even know what exactly they get from bashing in my economy. Like, are these raiders? What exactly is the story there? I again didn't pay attention, but I think that may be the final wave. So, in that case... Iron plates. Iron plates. And then just build this one so it's there. Upgraded once. This one is a ballista, this one is a ballista. Built this, so it's also our OG tower has not been upgraded at all. Uh, yeah. No soldiers required. This is probably the most vulnerable area because no barricade. Against specifically the, the spiky balls. Like the area down there, the, the southern area, the southern entrance has catapults, but I have ballistas there, so the catapults are gonna be one shot. Up here, no such luck. No immediate direct counter. Uh, it appears that the that the spiky balls only appear at the end. Hmm. Yeah, they're still out. How's it looking back here? They did not get through the barricade. They did not get through the towers. And the barricade's down there. And they are also stuck on the barricades. Imagine getting slapped by an arrow that is as big as you.
That's probably what being hit, being hit by a ballista feels like. Because those bolts should be gigantic. Okay, my houses up there have all been destroyed. Kind of expected that to happen. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the final wave. For this map. Oh shit, they actually destroyed the wall. Yeah, okay. So that should give me the snake and the without spear. Also, that's a lot of coins. Magigami, you're looking at upgrade puffy, level 3 costs. Magigami gives you a massive amount of health points and enemies take damage when attacking you. That's neat. Another perk point. So you do get additional ones. I assume that is for melee. For my melee barracks. Wait, shouldn't that have... Shouldn't it have me, have me gotten those? Oh, I already had those. I'm an idiot. It's the other way around. Right. Uh, so I can get another perk. And... Get me the pumpkin fields. So now I have Mr. Spear. Which honestly shouldn't be too bad against specifically the cavalry at the start. Even though the cavalry now has additional health. Which also means that the barricade is probably not that impressive against them anymore. I'm still gonna start with this tower. So the spear, I'm pretty sure, deals bonus damage against fast units, like cavalry, and also slows them. But that is basically just... just uh, completely set, uh, up, uh, offset by the, by the additional health they have. The damage at least. So now I need a wall, I need a tower, and another tower. Then to the top I go and I grab me a farm and a pumpkin field, which gives me two gold coins. I will probably, in fact, actually need knights in this one. So I will use my spear for good down here. And slow them down. Just hurting them, honestly. If possible, I would love if they only arrive after the, 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 the infantry has died, but I don't think that's possible. Okay, the, the infantry is nearly dead. And the gate should hold without issue. Next, I'm pretty sure, are the archers up top. For that, I just built the towers. And I, I'm i pretty sure that should be sufficient.
Yeah, the archers up top and the cavalry down there. So, a pumpkin field, a tower, and another tower. Then, pumpkin field. That is the anti archer thing. Is that just a pyramid? Why is it a pyramid? House. Alright. So yeah, they needed two shots. Okay, get me low. Get me healthy. Oh, the cooldown only starts after the ability has ended. Well, that makes my idea of the assassin training thing uh, moot. I fell off. That ability is so stupid. Why does he hit that fast? What kind of arm does this man have? How can he stab that fast and still deal damage? Alright, so I tower here and then I think I'll upgrade the main village center with the... I'm gonna take the royal training and upgrade the housing myself. Even though I think building new housing is technically uh, smarter money ways. Okay, I cannot outheal those. Will the guy up there switch aggro as soon as I respawn? Yes. So those are really just assassin bugs. Uh, I think all the assassin bugs are dead. This stuff could also be good specifically for these waves. R literally just the, st the fastest arm in the land. ball down there. Get the barricade. Uh, nothing up there. Is it just the spiky balls from this side? In that case, just two towers. And get me that mill. Which honestly, won't miss with magic against a portion of enemy arrows in the range of the mill. The higher the level, the more arrows are blocked. I'm gonna try that. I'm not sure where exactly, what exactly the range is, but it should help against the archers. Uh, spiky ball is tanky, which is not good for me. Uh, yeah, it exploded in my face. Yeah, the barricades do nothing.
honestly rather me than my towers. Or I can just heal up. That's also an option. Ah, uh, yeah, that tower is dead. That tower could survive. It did. Uh, no, it's not an attack though. Why he's so fast? Alright. Uh, archers from up top. So I definitely will just stand here and watch and see if the mill does anything. Or what exactly the range is. They can see that. Uh, otherwise, just like get me more pumpkin fields. And another house. And then the insect bird, the assassin bugs, eh. I hope to be done with the archers until they come. Okay, so the mill does have actually quite the range. If I see that correctly, this, this blue stuff is the arrows being blocked. And that is... That is not bad. That is not a bad range. Ah, uh, right. No drive by attacks, please. Uh, in fact, I should probably just... Oh shit, the pumpkin feels actually quite tanky there. Huh. That's... Even back here, it's still blocked arrows. What is the range of that thing? I wish that would show. Anyway, uh, so we have cavalry down here. Should be fine. Upgrade this. Build the barricade. And honestly, just like build me another mill back here. Just start that mill immediately. Just more, just get me more money. Yeah, that range is massive. Okay, need to region a bit. The spec balls, unfortunately, will will get to my will get to my house. I thought I had another hit in me. As long as that pumpkin farm survives, it was worth it. Kill the archers. Or not. I wish I could control my horse so that it is exactly as fast as the enemies are. So, now they're coming from up there, which means I can build that, I can build this. There are enemies coming from down there, so no gold mine there yet. Or, still no gold mine there yet. Right. I think I'm gonna build a Rax with Spearman. Right, everybody come along. Then build me this house, build me this house, and this house, and this house, as well as this house, and then I think I'll just have you go here. You should help, you should be able to help that side tremendously. Even though I don't think you are going to survive the, uh, the spike ball exploding in your face. But then again, you don't need to. Uh, 
and then I myself will just stand back here, stand down here. The spike ball, thankfully, I believe only comes in later. So, I should be able to just kill these guys before the spike ball arrives. And then the spike, yeah, there it is. So, most of the enemies are already dead, like at least half. And spike ball dies without doing anything. Okay, this side should be safe. How is it looking over here? Um, yeah, all of my spear guys died. Thankfully, I only have a basically mined out mine up here. So it's fine. Oh shit, all of my fields, I forgot uh, that they're coming in from there as well. Oh, stupid of me. Should have built the, well, should have built the wall there. Because uh, I'm pretty sure I'm still missing that. I wonder if I can also buy uh, just these large fellows at some point. Do not. Unless, uh, until they are destroyed. Good evening, Toby. So. Uh, yeah, they pump until they're destroyed, which isn't bad. Upgrade the town. And I want this... yeah. I want this magic armor here. Now, you guys actually upgrade that. You guys, everybody. You are just gonna... Stand behind this barricade, actually uh, a bit further back, so that the enemies actually do drive into the barricade. 35 coming from up there, which means I will now build that wall. Have you looked further into the kineticist? Can I build anything with two gold? A house somewhere. Which I don't have any, so upgrade a house. What level did you get to? Uh, so a level of feet, I mean. The last one you told me was, I believe, 8. I mean, we talked about it yesterday, so you were tired, too tired yesterday. I can understand, though. Local beer fest has started, and I did not sleep very well today. Alright, I'll up here. Can you, can you not ignore me, please? Holy shit, actually just really tanky. Yeah, understandable, as mentioned. I should probably go in here. If only I could, like, taunt enemies. Most of them will attack me anyway, but... A dedicated taunt function would be great. So, down here has survived. Without any issues. Now I need a ballista. Uh, get a second barricade in back there. Fortunately, I can't really upgrade them any further. Just disappointing. Build this. Uh, you guys 
are going about here. Right, there's nothing coming from this side, so I can build the gold mine. What do you say to the kineticist up until now? I mostly like it, but I see some issues. Also, I need assistance from you. I can't decide what class to play in Builder's Gate. Yeah, it's kind of like a martial spellcaster, which you can't give it the same power as a normal spellcaster because they don't rely on spell slots. But then you need to balance them around just not being that great, not that strong later on. My barracks died. The assassin bugs have found me. Like, imagine if the kineticist, without relying on spell slots, just had the same power scaling as a wizard. Just two action fireball, 3d6. A uh, 6 I don't think so, because the kinetic blasts work like spells. Uh, so you don't get anything from adding in a marshal. Like, that doesn't really help you. At least I don't think I saw anything that would help if you um, combine it with a marshal class. And well, multi-classing isn't really a thing in Pathfinder 2 anyway, so... Yeah, but it uses your blast proficiency. So while you can use it in melee... Infusing into weapon I haven't seen yet, but yeah. The, the melee blast still uses the proficiency for your kinetic blasts, which is not a melee attack. Of any kind. Build that ball for safety. And can I build another house? Only up there. And then I think I help the top side because I these yeah, these eight should be fine. What does infusing blast into melee weapon do? Alright, I'm tanky AF. I'll have to look into that, but honestly that doesn't sound... Like, you can also do that if you multi-class a wizard. Or even worse, multi-classing a Dragon Bloodline Sorcerer with a Barbarian. Just... or a Monk. Just have all the unarmed attacks. Ballista seems really strong here. Alright. I again didn't check the wave number. Uh, but looking at this, I believe it is the last wave, so let me just reinforce that gate. You knights will uh, be the fodder for up here. You guys will be Defending down here. And then I think I built a... That's a archer barrack. So get me longbow archers. Just as many as you can. 
and you will defend up here. Upgrade the skate. These, the long also should be able to shoot down as well. Second longbow archer. Can't upgrade anymore. Okay, but I can get more I can get more knights in. There's also an upgrade that you can get so that the uh that the knights get stronger. But the barracks are more expensive. Actually, you two just... Everybody stand up here. And then I can... I think I can just go ahead. This side is probably the weakest because there are no units. So I will defend here. 50 cavalry. Alright, barricade. Can't, can't afford that. Okay, let me check top how top right is going. Uh, very well until now. Well, my knights all died, but uh, they're being reinforced, so it's fine. The ballista just randomly shooting at the guys up here is weird. Anyway, um. I will probably read a bit more into the canalysis today. If you're up for a chat later. Though we'll probably read them element by element. Like I'm mostly interested in in, in the air kineticist. Right, I think this is only the 50 odd, the 50 cavalry coming in now, so let me help down here. Though honestly, I didn't use the 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 knights last time I came here. I played this map. And or troops in general. I think I underestimated the power. Even though I do have the high ground. And you are on board for the yeah the the wooden wooden metal you said right? Yeah, I was mentioning it would like kind of kind of like a a mountainy map with just a single entrance because just that single entrance would they'd have to throw everything at that. Uh, would be kind of interesting to see. It will probably not be the hardest map. Because it's basically just like the tutorial map. Which was, now I think about it, a mountainy thing with exactly one entrance. But it would be, it would be kind of funny. If you can also set the barricades and stuff. Lot of support and control. I assume that air is mostly just movement. And earth is tanking. Water is area control, you said? Coming in a new upgrade path for million. Burst have a higher attack damage and like to focus on siege engines or other large targets. Okay. Glass can you do significantly more damage, but you have much less health points. So this is just for exclusively the archer. Okay, then what do I still need here? Uh, eagle and damage as of so fast and fast and more damage. 
And the other is just the high school. I'm gonna try the other one, the Frost Sea. And I'm gonna grab this. I don't need the pumpkin field because I don't think there are any mills. Heavy armor. Wait, can I take heavy armor and glass cannon? That doesn't make any sense. I'm gonna use more more uh, units this time. So yeah, try that. For now, just try to win. Sword. Alright, so Berserkers maybe kind could be really good against the Siege Rams here. Okay. So the 17 Slimes, I don't think I care. Just get me, just get me houses. To get my economy up. Yeah, the magic armor could also be really good against these slums. So now we have the crossbowman, which means I get a tower in. And then more housing. I, the king actually survived that. He doesn't usually. So, even more slimes from down there. I'm gonna grab a house and then I'm gonna upgrade the castle. For. Especially when it's last going expired, the next one is greatly reduced. I'm gonna grab the house upgrade. Right, I have the heavy armor, so these don't really do that much. Uh, metal also deals poison damage of some kind now, which I find a bit weird. So, Siege Engine from this side, which means I'm gonna go and grab... That's the Arches. Gonna grab some Longbowmen. And yeah, you just... you do you. Just live your life, I guess. Actually, no. Get me... Knights. And, okay, they don't come in immediately, only if they are close enough. Do not let it destroy the harbor, the dock. The dock needs to survive. Okay, yeah, should be fine. Uh, the additional damage... I thought the additional damage also allows you to add... No, the Impulse Junction. Allows you to deal damage over time. And I'm pretty sure the damage over time they deal is some kind of poison. Some kind of poison damage. Set you up there. And build, the, er, build this thing for plus 20% range damage. And then... More housing. Also, upgrade this to double my boat. And then, unfortunately, I can't. I can't hit those guys. 
Archers, it's on you. And maybe, maybe the towers. As soon as they decide to join. Uh, please don't destroy my house. I should have built the tower there. Okay, one house I think I can live with. So, we now have crossbowmen. So, you go here. Uh, actually, archers. Bow here. So, I now have this, this gladiator upgrade. Which means that the... Alright, I can build another fishing dock. So, let me go ahead and do that. So you can start bumping out units, uh, not units, uh, ships, which technically I assume count as units. There are, I can build so many towers back here. Incredible. More house. Slash. So the barracks are supposed to train a lot faster than they usually do. And yeah, I think I, s I can see it being a tad faster than, than usual. Also, I am chunky. Okay, reaching up a bit. I wish my knights were faster. I wish I could make, like, cavalry. Also, where's the ram? Oh, the ram went the other way. Oh, well, I have enough towers here. Alright, this is not going badly. Um, grab every archer. Put him there. Grab every knight. And put them... There. Upgrade this one. And then I'm gonna upgrade this one. I'm gonna build the fishing dock on the... Here. And also, I'm pretty sure I can build gold mines there. Which, yes. Gonna abuse that. That's a tower, not a gold mine. Can I build anything else down here? Tower. And another tower. So sure, let me build that. Can I build anything up here? That's another barracks. Grab those for lances. Uh, right, the archers, put you aside for now, and the lances, you are going down here. Yeah, okay, the archer can join them, I don't care. Six gold remaining, what can I build? House. House, house. Right, I need to heal. Need to heal up a bit. So these swarm guys are basically just there so that the the steel balls can get through uninterrupted. But it should be fine since human life does not cost us any money. Uh, accurate. At least kind of accurate. That's flying enemies, flying enemies. I have enough towers everywhere. 
So I'm gonna have like you two hang around here, build this tower. I want to build these towers here to defend this fishing dock and the gold mine if possible. I could get more archers, yeah, but I don't really need them at the moment. Tower. Tower. And then I can build a house here. And a house here. Then I have seven remaining. Which I'm gonna invest in that fishing dock. Uh, or not, because there comes the flying enemies. Seven gold remaining. What? Oh right, I can invest. No, that need that needs nine. Also, it's slightly slightly more expensive the barracks. Right, I can get another archery range. More longbow archers on this side, and then I have two gold remaining. Which yeah, let's ju let me just like. Can I build another house? No. In that case, just let me upgrade one. The little bees. Honestly, I have quite a lot of towers back here, so maybe we're fine, but the fishing dock will probably die. Uh, yeah, the fishing dock is dead. Thankfully, they will not attack my boats. Okay, everything is coming from down there. So, let me just grab everybody. And put you there, put the spearmen and the knights here. Then I can upgrade the, then I can upgrade boat. I, oh no, I already did upgrade boat. Okay. In that case, I can upgrade town. And... I'm gonna go take the magic armor. And following that... What do I want to upgrade? Can I upgrade boat again? No. Unfortunately not. Oh, I can get a wall! What a concept! And a wall there. Can I get a wall down here? Yes. Build a wall. Upgrade a wall. Get another tower here, upgrade another tower here. Four more gold remaining, build this wall. And I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna go face tank. I'm not quite sure why the archers left their position. And I don't have a ballista for the for the siege engines. Okay, let me region up. Just slap a fool. Okay, so yeah, this defense definitely worked wonders. Who would have thought that building a wall keeps enemies outside? Not quite sure why I can only build walls here after the third upgrade of the tower. Uh, what enemies are coming in? Everything is coming from back there, apparently, and we have the flying boys. Let me get me knights first. You will stand about here. Lancers. You can... Oh, they're all coming from back there. Okay. What can I build here? 
Oh, this is just... This is just a tiny outpost. Oh god, I love it. Sure. Just upgrade this, upgrade this, upgrade this, upgrade this one. I wonder what the fourth power upgrade is. Okay, I love me tiny outpost. I'm gonna put the archers probably in there as well. Upgrade fish, uh, upgrade boat, upgrade barracks. So yeah, as far as I can see, it costs one additional gold per level. Which is not that much, honestly. Like, it's go it goes from 8 to 9 and from, uh, from 16 to 17. That's really not much. Outposts stay strong. The flyboys really do not like my fishing port up there. Uh, you. Let's defend the fishing port. Four and seventeen. Those are just the fast boys. That's a siege engine. I'm probably gonna need ballistas for that first of all. You are now an iron plates uh, tower, and I can get like a ballista here. I also just noticed that these guys can attack that side with impunity. Uh, no, not this one. Upgrade. I want to upgrade here for a hot oil tower. Since that is just a bunch of units coming in. So, grab the archers. Uh, put them here. Grab the lances. Put them, I think, down. Yeah, put them about here. Then the knights are gonna stop these guys. And these archers, and I'm gonna be fully honest with you, you just stand here. And don't leave. And I myself, I'm gonna help here. Uh, okay, I don't think I'm needed here. Okay, so yeah, this is literally what the oil tower is there for. And uh, I guess it works. Also, they are attacking my little outpost instead of my economic, my economic center. No, they're attacking both sides. My iron plates tower is still standing. Lovely. I I, lo I love this little outpost. It's such a good idea. Not just have you have you not just have your base around. I also have a little outpost somewhere. Uh, okay. Question mark. What does question mark mean? I'm just gonna trust my boss for that instinct and uh, build a bunch of ballistae. Uh, yeah, I think everybody should should get in there. Let's see, it is indeed a sea monster. It destroyed all of my fishing docks. Well, fuck you.
I can't afford more archers, unfortunately. Oh, it, it spawns units. And it has multiple health bars, apparently. Uh, I assume it just spawns unit until it's the until its uh, life has been depleted, and then it goes somewhere else. No, my outpost. Okay, so the ballista were a good idea. No, no doubt about that. Yeah, I mean, I mean they are ballista. It, it's kind of what they're there for. And uh, yeah, it's losing a dot whenever, whenever it loses its health bar. So, I assume I have to kill it five more times. The magic armor is a wonder against those guys. Unfortunately, I can't, I can't, I can't follow it fast enough because my ballista are just knocking it. Uh. What is that supposed to be? It's not a kraken. Oh, really? In the middle of my town? Thankfully, I have enough towers about and archers. The units seem really good, but don't forget I have a... Uh, I don't know if you saw at the beginning, but you can equip perks for different things. And one of the perks I uh, used is that the units are training faster. And normally, um, they replenish very slowly. Like normally if one dies, you basically don't get them back. And at night. Okay, one more. And it's in the center of town again. Everybody, please attack the things eating us. Alright. Yeah. On other maps, I don't think so. Especially the desert map is just very long. To get from one space to another. Godly curse. You permanently knock you upgrade out for your level to cast center. If you lock in a target, it receives significantly more damage from all sources. Locking in the target is, I believe. Uh sh left shift, okay. Fishing harbors have capacity for two additional fishing boats and are more resistant to enemy attacks. Neat. Um that is basically just an upgrade for this one. But yeah, I just wanted to do a little bit more trying here, a, bit, a little bit more testing here. This game is still in early access, so uh, I definitely think I'm going to try to give feedback for regarding the mill thing. Or just regarding, generally regarding attack range. Let me check the settings. There's nothing to, to show range, no. But yeah, for this, for this map specifically, units are really good. Because, in essence, there are only two entrances. While here you have four. Left, right, top and bottom. And here you have three. But yeah. Just wanted to try a bit more. And unlock a bit more stuff. Like, this is, I believe, everything that is available in the early access. Which is not little. And this is specifically for Frosty at the moment. 
So yeah, again, hope you have a nice Sunday tomorrow. And otherwise, goodbye and good night.